hey, Dan, how good is it for you to be able to just step into one spot and, and work there rather than, you know, not knowing from day to day which of the five positions you're going to be lining up at? Um, it makes it a, a little bit easier for sure. Uh, it, you get to focus on uh, one position a little bit more. Um, right now, I've been taking uh, right guard and some center snaps. Um, so it, uh, it's a lot easier than going to, to all, all the different positions. Hey, uh, Dan, what is your, uh, I don't know how much you've gone up against uh, uh, Javon Kinlaw, but if you, if you have, what are your impressions of uh, facing him? Um, basically, just like everybody else has been, he's a, a very big guy. Um, he's a lot harder to move. Uh, I just know uh, there's a few times where I've gone against him in pass pro so far, and it's like hitting a wall. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a massive guy, a massive human, um, and uh, he's going to be a hell of a player for us. Hey, Dan, what have you learned so far from Trent Williams, just him being in the line? Uh, ben was talking about how he's already stepped up, being a leader, kind of teaching guys a few little things. What have you learned from him so far? Um, I mean, he's a stand-up guy. He's definitely a professional football player, that's for sure. Um, he, he, everything he does is just is, – he's got a professional way of going about himself, and he's a tremendous athlete. Like, there's – there's times where he just makes these amazing plays and is, is just his work ethic. I mean, he's one of the guys that's downfield all the time. Um, and, and it's a guy that you gotta, you gotta try to keep up with. Uh, I mean, there's just plays where he's, he's driving guys downfield and you're like, holy cow, you gotta, you gotta get down there <laughs> because I mean, he's, he's pushing a guy down there. You just gotta at least run down there, do, do something like that. But uh, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a great guy, a great leader, and he's definitely stepping up and uh, showing us how to work. Hey, Dan, I know you played uh, some center last year at this time. Uh, I'm just wondering how much more you learned about that position um, in the past year and, and how much more you sort of appreciate um, everything that goes into to being a center in the NFL. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I've definitely been focusing on it a little bit more. Um, last year was more of kind of, you know, just making sure all the snaps are good, focusing on IDs and, and getting everything. Um, and this year, it's now like I'm focusing on technique a lot more um, and things in, that I can improve that way, um, while also being like trying to be perfect with the snaps and uh, with the IDs. But it's it, it's helped me a little bit at guard as well because now that I'm used to IDing everything. Now when I'm at guard, it's easier because I already kind of know like all the spots. Now I can I, I know where everything's going, and it makes me ID like what I need to do a lot faster. Hey Dan, Jake Hutchinson. Uh, wh what's it like being, you know, in a competition with Tom Compton, but, you know, having him as a teammate and, and meeting him for, for the first time? What's that dynamic sort of like? Um, I mean, it, it's great. Uh, Tom, Tom's a great dude, and he's been helping me, and, and I've been trying to, to learn from him um, a lot of things because he's been, he's been in the league. He, he knows what to do, um, and he, he's just been a great guy to, to go against. And uh, me and him are with each other in practice all the time and, and trying to learn and um, teach each other things that, that we can do better. Um, and, and I'm trying to help him with uh, him learning the offense, and then he helps me with uh, tricks that he knows. And he, he's just a, a great guy to learn from, and I'm really glad to have him on the team. Hey, hey, Dan, it's uh, David Lombardi. I'm wondering, since you really have the unique opportunity here to be working at both center and, and right guard, in Kyle's system, how, how much you know, cerebral responsibility is there on the center position? Or it, does that require a lot more film study than, than the other spots because you're having to kind of direct that line around? Um, yes, because there's certain times where you have to make certain calls that uh, you definitely have to know how the defense is moving around. Um, you have to see safety rotations and, and linebackers, where they're positioned and stuff. But, I mean, there's times where we, we got guys that are just smart all along the line. So, I mean, there, there's times where Trent can see something and he helps the center out or um, Lakin. I mean, everybody everybody's doing doing everything they can to communicate with each other and to make sure we're all on the, on the same page. So it, it kind of goes for all of us. Um, so I wouldn't say it's just the center's responsibility in that. I think that's everybody's responsibility to be on film and, and to watch that. But, um, but yeah, it, it, it does fall on you a little bit because you are the one making the calls. So you're the one directing everybody. So at the end of the day, it's what you call. But, I mean, everybody is out there helping each other out, and we're always communicating 
and, and the more we communicate, the better the better it goes. So. Dan, this is Chris Biederman from the Sacramento Bee. Last year, you, you played a, a whole bunch of different positions, and including tackle. I'm wondering how that changes your mindset heading into your second season when it seems like you're more honed in on the interior. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to get the, the best technique and, and doing the best I can to help this team win. And, um, and so right now, it's just focusing on the interior techniques and, and what I got to do to get the, that position done. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm ready to play uh, all five. And this year might be the, the year where it's kind of one of the biggest uh, responsibilities to do that, just because the more versatile we can be, um, uh, that's how it's going to go this year with COVID and everything. And the, the great thing about this line is we got guys that can do that at any position. I mean, Ben can play all three. Tom's played tackle before. Um, you got guys that, that can move around, and that's that's what's really been great about this team and, and the line that we formed together, and, and I think it's it's going to help us in the end. But the uh, main thing is, is just focus on what we can. And, and right now, yeah, we're focusing on the inside and, and getting the best technique I can um, at that position, but always be ready to do anything. Chris Alvarez here from ABC7 Sports. Um, what was the – how was the excitement level first day of pads with you and your teammates, and then two – What's the biggest focus, because you don't have preseason games, about getting ramped up and getting game ready for Arizona in a couple of weeks? Um, biggest focus is, is just getting the best football shape we can. I mean, it, it, it was definitely exciting to, to get in pads, but it definitely also hits you today, like um, the, the different shape you need to be in for football. Uh, I know a lot of guys, uh, like, it, it feels different. You're putting on a lot more weight that you're not used to, um, um, and the, we haven't done since uh, February. So um, it's uh, it's a little different, and, and we got a, a long ways to go um, and uh, improve on. But uh, it, it was it was definitely exhilarating to to be back and to be back in pads and to be able to hit each other again. Hey, Daniel Kyle Posey, Niners Nation. I, I know versatility is the name of the game, but do you have a preference on whether you play center or guard, and do you feel like you're better at either one of those positions? Um, no, I don't have a preference. Uh, uh, for me to make it in this league, it was to play a lot of different positions. So I'm, I'm kind of more of uh, just kind of happy to, to do whatever position that they think I'm best at. Um, the, my main thing is just trying to focus on what I can do to be good as possible at each position. So I'm trying to focus on all the techniques because there's, there is some different techniques on, on each position as you go. And, uh, and, and just to be as, as honed in as I can and try to be as perfect as I can because uh, at the end of the day, when, when you can be perfect with your technique, that's what, that would, that's what uh, make you play well. Hey, it's only been a few practices, but what is it about Jarek McKinnon out there that makes him so special as you're blocking for him? I mean, uh, he, I've, I've seen him a few times on film. And, and I mean, all our backs, it's, it's kind of tough just because they're, they're, they're great running backs. They have great speed and they make great decisions. So uh, most of the time, I don't even watch who's in. Um, but, but there's a few times where coaches will be pointing it out and you'll notice one of them. And uh, I've noticed Jed a few times where he, he's just making the, these great cuts and he's got great vision. And so uh, when, you, when you got backs like that that are just hit, hit, hitting the, the hole when you need it to be, um, it makes being an offensive lineman easy because they're they're just putting you in the right position, uh, the way they run. So uh, um, I know he's he's been doing a great job, and uh, I can't wait to see him out there. Um, but uh, like for all our backs, they're all kind of the same sometimes because they all run very similar, and and they do a great job. So, um, but it, it, I'm happy to have him back, and can't wait to have a, a backfield that has that many guys that can do anything they can.